Hey everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So in this video, I will be talking about prion disease. Now what is prion disease? Now this prion disease is a, a neurodegenerative disorder where there will be a spongiform change in the brain. Now this is caused by an accumulation of a abnormal form of prion protein. Now this prion protein, it's a membrane protein which is present in most of our cell, cells throughout our body. Now what is the function of prion protein? So we don't know the key exactly what is the function of prion protein in our body, but the normal membrane cellular prion protein, it is usually referred as PRPC. Now the PRPC, that is a prion protein C, C for cellular, PRP is a prion protein and C for cellular, normal cellular prion protein which is found in the cell membranes throughout our body. Now this PRPC, it has got a character well organized tertiary structure. It is abundantly composed of alpha helix. Now the PRPC, it is composed of alpha helix structure. In a predominant. Now in a prion disease what happens, so this PRPC, it will be converted into a disease causing prion protein and that is called, that is referred as PRPSC. S for scrapy, that is scrapy here, S for scrapy. Scrapy is a type of prion disease that is seen in sheep and the PRPSC, this is an abnormal form of prion protein. Now, what is the confirmation of this PRPSC, which is a disease causing prion protein? Now, the confirmation of disease causing prion protein, that is PRPSC, it is uh, in a multiple form and also it has got an in an abstract way it will be folded and the predominant type of confirmation that you see in PRPSC is a beta sheet confirmation. So it means PRPC which is uh, predominantly composed of alpha helix is now PRPSC is converted into a predominantly in a beta sheet confirmation. This is the change that is going on whenever this you know, disease causing prion protein enters into our body or whenever there is a mutation that is going on in a gene that is coding for PRP uh, that is prion protein, this is a prion protein gene when there is a mutation. So because of this mutation or because of the entry of disease causing prion protein because of, in an infectious way, so it is going to convert PRPC normal prion protein into PRPSC where alpha helix is converted into beta sheet. So this is a disease causing prion protein. What, this, you know, what is this disease causing prion protein does? So this disease causing prion protein, it is going to convert PRPC into PRPSC. So that means normal cellular prion protein is converted into PRPSC molecule. So that is basically PRPSC is acting as a template. So where it is going to convert PRPC into PRPSC and this PRPSC, it can convert more and more PRPCs into PRPSC. Overall, what happens? Alpha helix confirmation is converted into beta sheet here. How exactly uh, this will go on in our body? It can occur because of the exposure of uh, a person to PRPSC. How that exposure is possible? Now, the prion protein, it is called as an infectious protein. So the, it is uh, whenever PRPSC is in coming in contact with the normal cellular prion protein. So the PRPSC it is acting as a template and thereby it is converting normal cellular prion protein into abnormal disease causing prion protein. So as you are seeing in the figure here, so uh, PRPSC is acting as a template and thereby it is converting normal cellular prion protein which is in green color into an abnormal prion protein which is in red color and this will go on. This is an exponential conversion that will be going on and that will lead to accumulation of abnormal PRPSC which contains beta sheet. And note that why this beta sheet accumulation, why PRPSC accumulation is so uh, pathological for our body. So it is because this abnormal PRPSC which, has, which is rich in beta sheet, it is resistant for degradation by proteases. Proteases are enzymes which will convert, which will degrade proteins. So the proteases, they won't be able to degrade, degrade PRPSC because of the rich, uh, this excess beta sheets there. 
Normally, beta sheets are resistant for degradation. Whereas normal prion protein cellular, PRPC, which is rich in alpha helix, it can be degraded by proteases. This is why, so there will be accumulation of more and more PRPSC and makes an amyloid plaque formation. So in prion disease, there will be amyloid plaques which are accumulated in the extracellular matrix and that will affect, uh, that will initiate the pathogenesis process. What kind of pathology you are going to see? So there will be there will be holes in the brain, basically the neuronal structure. So there will, there will be more and more holes, microscopic holes will be created. As you can see in the figure here, so there will be small little holes, microscopic holes are seen in the picture. And this is basically changing the brain structure in a spongy form way. That is why prion disease is also referred as transmissible spongiform encephalopathy, TSCs. Prion disease are classified into TSC, that is transmissible spongiform encephalopathy. Transmissible means this is this disorder is trans, can be transmitted from one person to another person. One can get a prion disease by eating a meat of a cow uh, died because of mad cow disease. This is how the prion uh, disease is caused. So it is an uh, infectious protein. So previously it was thought as a bacteria, virus or uh, maybe fungi or something. But uh, later it was diagnosed that uh, that this particular disorder it is caused because of uh, infectious protein. So this is what is a uh, prion uh, disease. Crutchfeldt Jacob disease is a human uh, prion disease. Like that we have a prion disease in the sheep that is scrapy. We have prion disease in the cows and that is mad cow disease. And also prion disease is seen in uh, tribes in Africa called as Kuru. That is uh, K U R U. This is a type of prion disease that is seen in uh, Kuru tribes in Africa. So there will be more neurological signs and symptoms uh, seen in prion disease because there is a change in the spongiform change in the brain is going on. So you know, causing all neurodegenerative uh, uh, signs and symptoms. This is all about uh, prion disease. I hope uh, this video has helped you in understanding uh, prion disease. And uh, make sure you click that subscription button down there so, uh, so that you'll get the regular updates whenever I upload video. And also, uh, if you have any questions, so put, put that question in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give thumbs up. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in my next video.